Hey guys, so as you may have noticed, we have a brand new update in Instantly, which is the improved analytics. And I just wanted to make a quick video where I go through each new thing we added and how you can basically use it to get better results with your email campaigns. So the first thing you may notice when you open up the analytics tab is the brand new design. But on top of that, just seeing the total sent open rate and reply rate for your campaigns in aggregate, you can actually hover these eye icons uh, to get some additional insights. So in this case, you can actually see uh, leads contacted for the first time and follow up sent. You can actually see how the volume splits up between first emails and the additional steps. Then for the open rate, you can see two different ways how to calculate open rate. One is based on just leads and the one is based on total volume sent. Um, so just based on emails. And uh, finally, reply rate on top of just the percentage, you can also see the number uh, how many replies have you gotten in aggregate? Uh, then if you scroll down next to the campaign analytics, which was here last time as well, it just has a new design. Uh, you have account analytics, uh, which show, shows you the health of your actual sending accounts individually. Uh, so the combined score here is calculated by your uh, averaging your open rate and reply rate percentages for this uh, specific account. And how you can use this for your advantage is actually looking at how your accounts are performing and if there's like outliers that are performing super bad compared to your, all your other accounts uh, you can make the decision to pause cold emails for that account and uh, basically let warm up build its reputation back up so basically this is a way you can see if there are there are certain domains or accounts that are performing super bad and then you can pause them uh, add new ones basically just uh, no the health of each individual account. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it for the analytics tab. And the other place where you can see improved analytics is if you go into a specific campaign and you open it up, you'll see this uh, brand new screen here. Uh, basically here you can see uh, how many leads have been contacted, how many have opened, the percentage and the total number, same for replies. And then a new thing we added is the positive reply counter. So how this works is if you're in the Unibox and you mark something as interested, it will show up in that campaign. So you can actually see where those positive leads are coming in. And on top of that, you can set the monetary value to your positive leads. So for example, if you're like a lead gen agency and you base, uh, you, you have basically charge people based on positive leads, you can set that value here. So let's say if you charge $100 per positive lead, you can set the $100 here, and then you can actually see how much value each campaign is bringing in for your company and then make better decisions based on uh, based on that. And uh, yeah, so if you scroll down here, another new thing we added is the step analytics. So now you can actually see how each individual step is performing. Uh, so in, in this case, this campaign has two steps and you can see that the last step is bringing in two replies while the first one brought in 35 replies. Uh, so basically you can make the decision that, okay, the, the second step really isn't worth it. Uh, I will pause it and then you can assign that volume that was usually sent uh, for this second step. You can actually assign this volume to other campaigns that are performing better for this first step. So you can basically see that if, uh, if adding additional steps is worth it or not for each individual campaign. And uh, yeah, the activity tab is the one that we had before as well. You can just see a live, uh, a live view of emails being opened, replied to and sent. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much for this update right now. So hope you guys find this useful and uh, yeah, see you later.